don't mind me. I just been counting my blessings. I lost count. Yeah, yeah, uh. I done got it going now. The wheels rolling, ain't no slowing down. If they unsure I was the truth, but well, they gon' know it now. Coldest round, fuck a laptop, ain't no folding now. The shit I pitch, the sick is wicked when I'm on the mound. I told them, blink too long, and nigga, you might miss. Choreograph success, I tell my youngest, move like this. We Chris Brown and through the pressure, dance crew type shit. I found my rhythm, Stella couldn't catch a groove like this. My GPS said to the riches, they just roll kill. Hungry for my chance, they let me starve, I make my own meal. Game is watered down, too many players without no skill. Nigga, Claim they shot calling, can't even pay they phone bill. Ha <laughs> ha, no more L's, no more L's. At the winds up, my head high, hold shit down with my chin up. Thankful for blessings, pray for forgiveness, cut my sins up. No more L's, no more L's. At the winds up. Add em up. But they don't get it Can't buy your mama no house off no street credit Who gon' look out for your family if you do a bit? Can't go harder for the block than you go for your kids Nah, prison ain't cool Ask somebody there, nigga And they no coming back from the cemetery, nigga Better cool it, Ice Cube, this ain't no barbershop When young is aiming fresh cuts with them hair trickers We done seen losses bounce back every time, no Minor setback, major comeback, that's my favorite line, though Man, just finished up a good workout this morning, a little push day, and uh, it's Friday. Today I've got a really busy day. I've got a session from 12 to 4. It's 8.45 right now. I've got a haircut at 10.20, um, and I've got two mixes that I need to get done, uh, or at least in a good position today as well. So, um, yeah, it's about to be a really, really busy Friday. Business has been going well. I really appreciate everyone who's been hitting me out for... Uh, mixes who's been hitting me up for coaching calls mix critiques things like that yeah i appreciate you guys man because yeah just trying to make a living out here trying to trying to take things to the next level new levels trying to just make sure everything's staying consistent for not only myself but for my family as well so yeah i appreciate you guys i'm gonna take you guys through the day with me like i always do let's get it all right it's 12 o'clock I've been all over the place today with this vlog. My bad. Uh, went to the gym this morning, got my hair cut. Looking, looking kind of fresh. But uh, yeah, got my hair cut. Now I'm about to hop in this session with the boy KO, King Osiris. He hasn't been on the vlog in a minute. I haven't seen him in a minute, actually. So uh, yeah, we got a four hour session about to lock in. With the SHIT, better consult with GOT before challenging me, trying to master telepathy. Cooking the recipes a chef boy gave a bitch my D. She back for second G, told her the word is legs. Now spread the word like a legacy. I do this with mm. the middle of the map. Now let the legend speak, but this is light work illuminated. Make sure my light works. Got a freak who likes to blow me on the job. Shit, that might work. Oh, I'm nasty like GY's collabing with my. Killer my trigger one and treat the beat like a mic hurts. I'm airing niggas out like auto rocket. That's rocket power. Semi automatic bitch. I'll hit you with this rocket power. Oh, this pop shit. You pop tarts making pop hits. Watch me shake the game like a soda until this pop is. Nigga. Yeah, that's hard, bro. Uh, <laughs> niggas, bro. I saw I was like, bro, wow. I, was, I saw everybody rapping. I was like, I was like, man, I've been in hiatus. I was like, these things don't brought me out of rap hiatus. Yeah, I haven't seen nothing on you in a oh, minute. I just been trying to personally develop, bro. So when I come back out, my shit is gas. This dude KO been gone. He been MIA. Durag Dan in the building, you hear me? <laughs> this is <laughs> crazy. So, bro, tell these people about yourself. Tell them like where they can find your music. Tell them what. First of all, tell them what your goals are with your music. All right. Honestly, my goals with with anything that I do, visually and or sonically, you know what I'm saying, is for people to wise up and just believe in themselves within creativity or with anything that they want to do with their life. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like there is a mind control mechanism with frequency and vibration when it comes to music, and I feel like they are selling, you know, toxicity to the masses. When these young, youthful kids, they need all the positive reinforcement all they can get. Because I feel like most of the shit people are listening to. 
is the reason why they're depressed. It's like the you know what I'm saying what what you're listening to or putting into your mind is making you feel the way that it feels. Low vibrations and frequencies, man. So I'm just trying to raise those vibrations up and let people know you can be great. Don't let anybody define your greatness besides yourself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So and that's what I've been realizing. I've been in the cave for a long time, bro. Like and I feel like if I really love music and shit that much. I can just jump back on the shit. And here we are. Hey. <laughs> Durag Dan is in the building. Miss, <laughs> I'm far from my prime. Amazon, bitch, I'm optimist. Left don't read your option. Listen, nor cause ignorance is bliss. Rapture flow. Not witness me spit from these apocalypse. Pessimistic optimist, I'm far from my prime Amazon, bitch, I'm optimist Left gon' read your optimist, ignore cause ignorance is bliss Rapture flow, now with this is the means of apocalypse Hey, let me do that one more time cause I feel like Far from my prime Amazon, bitch, I'm optimist Ain't coming through, so it's a triple threat The money and power, ain't no forget respect Big bang tank, low bank, now bitch, cut the check ah. Run it back one more time But with those ad libs in the back, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I could hear that. I don't know. That's just kind of what comes to my head. Let me uh play the play the one and the recent one. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, you should do it all. Not not the uh, you know what I'm saying just the, I'm way up. Get your weight up. Oh. You see what I'm saying? And then f go back yeah. and fill them in. Okay. Bitch, I'm way up. Get your weight up. It's time to wake up. Him in perfect perfectionist, pessimistic optimist. I'm far from my prime Amazon, bitch. I'm optimist. Left don't read your option list. Ignore cause ignorance is bliss. Rapture flow. Now witness me spit from these apocalypse. I got a tail white horse in my chariot. Yeah. It's a death coming through, but it's a triple threat. Money and power, and I forget respect. Big bang, take little bang, no bitch, cut the check. Man, we got two days in one vlog. This hasn't happened in a minute. But uh, yeah, it's Saturday morning, out sitting outside the gym, and uh, just wanted to catch up with you guys. Had a dope session yesterday with Ko. Um, ended up going for a while, and then uh, we ended up having like a long heart to heart, just like on where he's trying to get to as an artist and his thoughts on like you know why his progression has been the way it's been, and my thoughts on that, and then, like just kind of. I don't know, having some kind of just brainstorming some ideas to help him get to the next level and yeah, things like that. I've been knowing, I've been knowing KO for a long time. So like, it's kind of like a big brother, little brother talk. It was, it was uh, much needed. We have those from time to time. You can get a little spirited at times, but yeah. But um, yeah, did that and then just hung out with the family last night, today. I'm about to hit a pull workout, so back and biceps, and then I've got uh, some mixing to do. I'm going to do a, a, a tutorial video to put out uh, as well on the channel. And yeah, I've just been thinking a lot lately on, I've been thinking a lot lately on just identifying your style. I feel like once you get to a certain point, people will hire you as a mixer based off of um, you know they have an idea of what your style is and they hire you for that and so I've just been as you as you get better as a mixer you start to be able to hear things a lot better your ears get a lot more in tune with what's going on and you have an idea of what you like and what you don't like but better yet you have a you know how to accomplish what it is that you like um, with your mixes so I know it took me a while to get to the point where I understand what my style is and what I like and how to achieve that sound uh, so I'd say definitely be in tune with that because things can get ugly really quick if you're just aimlessly mixing if you're just mixing just to be mixing but you don't you know you don't know what the final you don't have an idea in your head what the final results should look like that's when things start to get really messy and really ugly and you start doing way too much stuff so definitely have an idea like for me 
I've really, really been digging like a more clean vocal sound instead of uh, so textured, so, you know, um, processed. I've been liking more of a, a clean, uh, more natural vocal sound. Uh, you know, something that one of the producers I work with, for his artists, he's always saying, I want the vocal to sound like it's right here. I don't want it to sound like there was, you know, a microphone and all this processing involved. I just want the vocal to sound like dude sitting right here when I listen to it. And to me, that's really dope. And it, it kind of challenged me to, um, you know, to make that happen because it's really easy to like, you know, click your inserts and see all these plugins and you want to do the most. And, you know, I'm getting into it trying to build this hybrid setup and all this stuff but it, it really makes you pay attention to okay all right let me go all the way back to the recording chain let me make sure you know the distance in which he's recording from the microphone is right let me make sure the mic placement is right let me make sure all my settings are right how's this vocal coming in how's it sounding as soon as i track it um, am i having to do a lot of repair work because if i'm having if i'm needing to you know repair the vocal based off of the recording it's probably not going to sound natural anyway so it makes you really go back and really focus on every step of the process which just helps create a better overall sound um, and then i've been really digging really hard hitting drums with a little you know pretty saturated but not I feel like nowadays it's really easy and it's like kind of common to see a lot of distortion and saturation on drums or songs in general, but it's really bright. It's like a really bright saturation and I've been liking more of a warm sound, more uh, really textured, but not as bright, um, but just really slapping and yeah, I don't know, man, I, I just been liking for, I've just been really feeling the sound of like this textured warm environment for the natural sounding cleaner sounding vocals to live in so that's kind of what i've been aiming for recently i'm going to start creating more tutorials trying to kind of going over my process and what i've been doing to accomplish those things but yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys to say definitely have an idea of what you're trying to accomplish before you start working and so that way from the very beginning of the process you're working towards a goal instead of just mixing to be mixing Ups and downs is part of the game, that's how the grind go Never answer when the bullshit hit my line though I'm on D&D, &D, blowing up like TNT Niggas trying to 